Peace and blessings be upon everyone. Welcome to the Khalid Podcast. I'm Karan Solihin and this is episode 10. Uh, my guest here today is uh, Yanto Sani. He's the founder and owner of the Golden Rule Barber. Yanto, welcome to the show. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Okay, uh, Yanto, mm, I just want to start before I jump to all the questions that we uh, have put for you. I want to ask, what's the golden rule? Oh, basically the golden rule, uh, we name after a song that we like. Uh, the band is called Biffy Clyro from Scotland. Uh, actually, we're like, we hanging out with my uh, partner and my wife also. We were like, uh, what kind of name should we put for Bobber Shop? And uh, we have a list of names, uh, which is totally crappy, <laughs> like, I don't want to mention uh, <laughs> the list of the names. And the song was played uh, in the background and it's like, hey, the song was called the That Golden Rule. It's like, hey, why not we call the Golden Rule? Like, the meaning of Golden Rule also is like, we apply to like, our service, which is uh, treat how you want to be treated. Uh, treat mm. people like how you want to be treated, which is the service uh, of, a, of a hairdresser or as a barber. So like, uh, it's, it's quite cool, uh, the name. So we, we stick to it and the rest is history until now. Uh. Until yeah. today. So how, how do you build the golden rule from scratch? Uh, Can you share about it? I've been cutting for around 19 years. It's always a dream for every hairstylist or every barber to own a barber shop. Mm. Uh, and it's just at the right time. Uh, at the right time and the right uh, feel to it like I think it's about time to open a barber shop because mm -hmm. I was doing music as a career, a music producer uh, in KL for four or five years. So music has been your f your real full-time job? Yeah, music was the first and hair was the second. It's I like see. I was doing, I, was, I still do hair while I'm doing music mm -hmm. and hair is always the second I freelance see. job I where I need some cash. Yeah, mm. mostly like that because I always dream to be a a musician, like uh, right. a, a really uh, well-known musician or well-known producer. But right. eventually, things was pretty tough when I got married and mm. having my first child. Uh, then I was pressured. Uh, my wife was staying in Singapore, and I'm I'm in KL and through back and forth like. The money was not that good, right. and our BTO flat was coming soon. Mm. We couldn't get the keys, and the pressure was. Yeah, I think I need to stop my music for a while and focus. Uh, hair. I tried mm. to make to uh, like, you mm. know, like now hair first, yep. music second. So I started. So music wasn't doing well financially. Yes, it wasn't doing and well financially. Hairdressing or hairstylist is <coughs> getting money in. Is is like. You want getting, money, a, you get it. getting a day job, okay, man. Okay. It's basically right. just getting a day right, job. Right. Uh, go back to the hair industry and work for full time instead of doing part time full freelance. Mm, like mm, mm, when mm. I'm when I'm not busy doing my music stuff, then okay, I could I could go to my salon and get my my regulars to cut. So I I, I switch it like okay, I need right. to go full throttle on uh, on hair mm -hmm. and work in a barber shop, which is a house of Buskerville. They call us up and like this was the first barber shop. Yeah. Uh, style, like mm. the vintage barbershop, the classic barbershop uh, in Singapore. I was also excited because it was something new and that there was like 2009, mm. 2009 like that. Then it was like opening and I was, like, I was there, I was like, yeah, I think, I think this is cool. Uh. Yeah. I think I want to do hair first. Settle down first. Uh, settle down yeah. first and get all my financially right, stuff right. Uh, stable. Yeah, yeah. And my wife was really 100% uh, agreed with that movement. Like, okay, yeah, good. <laughs> I think it's about time, right? <laughs> and then like, okay, let's go. Uh. So I start doing full time uh, hair. And after mm. two years, and I think uh, I had a, I had a, a support from from my family members. Like, I think you should open your own shop. It's about time. Like, so, uh, how many years already you've been mm -hmm. doing this? And and I wanted to have my own environment, playing my own music on the shop. Like, 
having my own style and having yeah. and then I met my 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 partner which is uh, Jay the co-founder of uh, Gururu at the barber shop itself like he's also a, was a barber he was a, he was a apprentice barber at that time oh, okay. he was still a junior barber uh-huh. so uh, we have the same taste we have the same style and 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 the music taste and and he loves arts and stuff like that they like Then I was like, eh, kau nak join? Aku tak, aku nak buka kedai tau. <laughs> like, you, like, dia, ha? Huh? Aku baru start ni. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just finish graduate as apprentice yeah, kat yeah. sini. Like, oh, uh, it's up to you. I mean, I, I, I let you decide a few, give you a few days to think about it. Uh, if you want, just join. But I'm I'm going to open my own shop. So when I, 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 I waited for him, then he's like, eh, I think, let me finish up with my uh, other barber shop and work for a few years few months mm-hmm. before I join you but oh. he's uh, he agreed to join me lah with CJ J kat sana dia yeah. just me <laughs> <laughs> shout out J shout out to J <laughs> uh, so that's where the meeting starts lah like mm. we have the oh, planning uh, yeah all the planning yeah. like oh we get really excited like how oh, what, what what should we do what kind of culture what should we should we should focus on so that's where we started the brand Goduru where I just now told you that the the, the name of the The shop it was named after a song, mm. which is uh, one of our favorite band. Uh, after that, we proceed to and find a, a property guru, cherry all this, the the perfect location, mm. uh, uh, the 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 one that suit our capital. Like of course we are we are just normal, like we not a rich kids or yeah, whatever. Yeah. So we we try to find a stable one. Don't want to be don't want to be too Im- ambitious and and get over investor like yes, propose yes, to yes. investor like hey, I, I can do this and big and open shop. We we settle down with a four chair, uh, four chair barber shop. It's only like around eight uh, hundred square feet, nine hundred square feet small at Roberts Lane, and from there we we climb to where we are now. Uh. How much yeah. how much capital have you? Uh, put in because I, I I read one of the articles say uh, they said that <coughs> you invested around seventy seven thousand and you broke even in a year. So the seventy seventy thousand was <laughs> after the first shop. The first shop we is we invested around around twenty thousand. Uh, it was tough, ah. Right, uh, we have that that small capital we have. Like we try to squeeze. Mm. Luckily, we have a. F- I don't know. Uh, like, let's keep it. Like my wife was doing finance. Okay. Or oh, she she has a full time job. Yeah, herself. she still have okay. a full time job, and Jay also has a media background. Mm. So I myself also have a media uh, art background. So the creative, the marketing, and The finance, mm, mm. we have a uh, quite solid uh, team uh, like eh, which is kalau other people need to invest and get uh, yeah, like you know prop, prop, uh, everything, like yeah. proper photographers, right, photo right. videographers. So we with that twenty thousand we have, uh, we just spend solely on on yes uh, like the three months advance, uh, then deposit and interiors we DIY ourselves like we have a few friends to help on the wiring and stuff mm, like that. Mm-hmm. Then after that. <coughs> a few years, uh, with with the profit that we have, we invest another shop instead of mm. spending it. <laughs> it. Instead of like enjoying with the the amount of money I, uh, we get from that shop, we invest it. Like that's 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 why the total of everything was around uh, 77 thousand. Yeah. All right, but okay, that's mm. interesting. So, um, what? Why can't you? Why don't you see yourself working for <coughs> the old uh, barber shop that you work for? What is what is it about that old barber shop that makes you think like I want to start my own? The old barber shop was a uh, was a tattoo parlor, sir. Uh. I see. Okay. So I cannot I cannot imagine myself and my my kids yeah. hanging out at a tattoo shop and influencing. So like I want a space where easy for us to like sell at any time mm. like you know we need to have a space like that's where Jay also like agree with me like uh, I think it's easier for us to have our own space so yeah mm. memang memang rezeki kita kat of the first reason why is because of we don't want the bersubahat with yeah. the total, total yeah. I don't, I'm not I'm, I'm cool with 
tattoo guys. I mean, they are nice people. Yeah. But it's just that my beliefs are different. I don't want right, my my right. kids to get influenced hanging out at the tattoo parlor. Yeah. Then. So it's all about the environment and the concept that yeah. you don't agree on yes, and, and stuff uh, like that. Correct. How about um, you've been a freelancer before as a barber mm-hmm. and you see how other barbers uh, run their business or, or probably treat their customers. How how do you see that and tell yourself? Maybe something about that, that uh, something about certain treatment that you don't like, you want to change it to your own uh, when you have your own shop and stuff like that. So, is there anything that you've seen previously that isn't isn't good or isn't healthy? There's a lot of unhealthy things in the hair industry, which is because it's very, very highly commission driven. So, what do you mean by that? Commission-driven. Commission-driven where you cut more, you get more. So if you steal my customer and stick to you, I lost my customer. So they have a like a battle between each other in a shop, which I I I, I don't like it. On my past experience, like my stylist, like like having like gado because of like hey, why you why you take my customer, like, you know, like mm. kind of thing. Like, everyone is full pressured on like. On, on insecure or yeah, taking yeah. care like, walaupun they are at the same shop so that's one of it yang I try to eliminate, eliminate uh, from my, my culture in the shop mm-hmm. like I try to make sure my boys and my, my barbers like as long the guys are coming back at our shop yeah. it's a win-win for us he might want to cut with you one day he might want to cut with us one yeah, day he want to yeah. go reservice ke, like, you know, on mm-hmm. MC he's, mm-hmm. he's still coming back rather than he go to other shop and and stick and, and leave that shop and stay and not coming back it's, it's worse than and still sharing our customers around and make sure that mm. they, are, they are coming back so that's one of it and uh, I try to make sure that my shop doesn't have that kind of uh, competition yeah, yeah. to it's just too ugly yeah. uh, and the drama you know yeah. shop really that's good because as a barber yourself you know when you cut hair then you feel that like, like people like the other barber more, you know, is the morale for yeah, that yeah, barber is also not good. It's definitely, it's definitely, uh, yeah. uh, it's very sensitive. Uh, true, true, true. It's, it's like, uh, especially like after you, like after you, you, you have your regular stay with you for one year, then suddenly just one time he cut with yeah. that guy and suddenly he switch. Yeah. It's like a breakup. Uh, true, yeah. true. <laughs> it's like a relationship because barbers are really, uh, close to their clients. We are like, we are like, uh, family doctor already. We are very super close, like tailor and that. So like super close to them, like we know their secrets, we know their problems. So if I don't go to a person, like, why, oh. man? <laughs> you know, like, why? Why you cheat on me? <laughs> so, I mean, like, is, is, that's why you need to make sure that your shop have a culture, which is, is very important. Like, yeah. that's one of my culture that make sure that we share among regulars. We know each other. We know we, we're like family already. All, all our clients are like really know almost everyone. So it's good to have mm. that rather than mm. like you in the zone, like really protective. My customer is my customer. Yeah, and it's not good uh, that, uh. How do you build that culture? Let's talk about that. I think I think uh, <laughs> the reason is because of the experience of the music, of being in a band leader and having breakouts and disbanded the band mm. just because of drama of like hey why I get this percentage I don't get this percentage mm. hey, I wrote that song I read I, I wrote that riff you know I wrote that melody why I get this percentage like, so the experience of being a musician really helps me to control my bubble mates <laughs> like like my I, I look at my bubbles like macam band mates like mm. I make sure that I know what they are thinking because I was once upon a time in the issue as well, working for people, right? Working for other barber shop. Yeah. So I know if something is not right. Yeah. Mm. So I make sure that we have a constant meeting and, and make sure, like, you guys happy not with this? If you guys not happy with this, you let me know. Like, how we can construct and find out, I mean, like, figure out a, a better solution for yeah. each, everyone to be happy. Like, even yeah, to the to, to, to extent where even song selection at a barbershop can, can be an be argument <laughs> right it can be an argument like one 
into heavy metal another one is to R&B like hmm. I cannot hear heavy metal all day bro I have bingit lah potong like, that kind of stuff so you need to like sit down and like okay we have playlist certain playlist like the Titan have their own songs played on the Spotify hmm. on the on, uh, in in the shop so it's very important benda-benda gitu lah like, all the small stuff lah so I make sure everyone try like yeah. you cannot please everyone but True. at least you try like, yeah, you exactly. try your best yeah. yeah okay that's good so um what makes uh, you you're a barber yourself right yes uh, and uh, you have more than 19 years of experience and mm. uh, with that how do you what what makes a great barber what makes a great barber yeah for me the service not just a haircut actually you can i've seen a lot of amazing amazing stylists or amazing hair cutters mm. yang potong almost like flawless uh, mm. like, like super flawless mm. nice gradient and nice texture nice shape tapi have the least customers just because of lack of uh, it's a personality uh. like if you can have i have a few barbers yang cut okay okay biasa-biasa je like simple like normal normal haircut tapi have the most Uh, sweetest uh, personality and likable and has more customer than a, yeah. a better hair cutter so for me a great barber is all about service like your know, the personality like how you treat people mm, yeah. mm. You need to be like even doctors also like we True. met a few doctors that are like uh, menyampa already like <laughs> <laughs> you know, attitude like, this guy like You know that kind of thing, like you, you say same same goes to the uh, 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 outlet store, like you buy clothes, like if the if the service is good, then you will like to buy more. So to me, if a, for a great barber, is 80% service. service. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. How how do you? I think with the competitive market out there right now, with the rise <coughs> of so many other barbers and stuff, like that, <coughs> right? Um, How do you keep a customer loyal to you? First of all, is of course the service. Is there any other secret recipe that you have? <laughs> how? Eh? Uh, Your regulars, how do they? It's the vibe. Ah. That's why the, the vibe of the culture of the shop is important. Like mm. the first impression will always come from the platform where I think social media. Social media is the first impression. Like they will look at. The, I mean, we are guys. Kita always survey first. Like we always survey. Like okay. Like especially we have a lot of expats coming in Singapore and also come to our shop. Type bubble Singapore, blah 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 blah, or top 10 or best bubble. Yeah. They, they they stumble upon uh, upon uh, our shop. Then they click. That's the first impression. Like, right. Um, nice. I think nice photos. Nice haircut. Uh, amazing smiles, like you know, like this. This is a shop that I would want to want to go lah. Again, that's where the second step is when they they step into the shop. So the greetings, like we don't want <coughs> we don't want our shop doesn't greet like much. I'm super hotel, a five star. Hello sir, like, welcome here. Like you know, have a seat please. Like what's your name? SQ lah. Eh, yeah. So you want to be like more like chill lah. Eh. How are you man? Good afternoon man. Like you got an appointment? Like, like chill? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's more of that kind of uh, environment. I think that's the secret mm. recipe that we have in our shop. We want to make sure that they come as a client and they they walk out as a friend. Uh, it's very important. Yeah. Right? Like they will, would love to come back and not just come back. They would love to recommend more yes. friends. Like hey, you should check out this barber shop. Like you don't chill. Uh. All the barbers super friendly man. <laughs> Nice music, man. Like get it wrong, like best. Uh. That kind of thing is still, I think, the still the best marketing ever. Uh. The product and the service. People will talk about it. Then after you, like really, ah, uh, well, check out the Instagram. Then go back to square one. Oh, I think not bad, ah, uh, not bad, ah. Uh. Like, okay, let's like, book a book a book a slot. Come come to the shop. Then repeat the whole thing again. It sometimes we have. Mistakes. Sometimes we have bad days. Our barbers are not. Right. Tahu, uh, Which tak is something that you can't control. Uh. Control, so. You cannot control yeah. like having a bad mood, break up with a friend, girl, quarrel with wife, girl. So sometimes we have customer go out of the shop and complain like it doesn't 
reflect mm. what people talk about you guys. Yeah, I, yeah. This bawa was rude. I was uh, I was on time and no one, no one, no one, no one attend to me. You have those kind of mistakes once yeah. in a while. It's normal. Course, you yeah. cannot be. It's 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 real lah. You cannot you cannot be every time on point, right? So it's always important lah. That's the secret of like you need to keep on having that vibe of environment and treating every customer like he's gonna be loyal to you lah. Yeah. Uh, oh, Macam pumpan lah. <laughs> 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 right, right, right. I try to find the right one lah. Tapi you have just to keep on repeating it. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> okay. Um, the famous story of uh, a few of you guys cutting Argentina's oh, okay. uh, uh, famous soccer players haircut, right? Uh, has the, ha- um, maybe you can share that story again. Uh, <coughs> when was that? Was it the first few years or last two years? Uh, last two years. Uh, last two years. Last two years. It was. It was the most mainstream success we ever had uh, like the, the like the news is all over i mean the mm. whole news like in singapore like from about china we go from india we go it's like wow like really get you uh, right? yeah. so that's the most uh, mainstream success we had uh, mm. what happened at the it's 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 funny lah is how it turned out to be dibala just dm on instagram it's like just simple as that like the power of social media i don't yeah. know how he get it Or, or I think he desperate to get a haircut. Right? Like I need a haircut, you know, like uh, Singapore barber. It's kind of like the one that DM you. Up, aku lupa apa dia. What's what's yeah. the message like? Uh, uh, By the way, free? it was broken English or something. Ah uh, yeah yeah, it was a broken. We had a snapshot then It was on Channel New Asia, like the snapshot of Dibala yeah. uh, typing in a broken English. <laughs> then yeah. we replying yes yeah. But actually we 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 reply lambat. We we reply oh. late. Because uh, at that moment of time, we have an admin guy, uh, a part-time guy, who was handling my uh, uh, IG and stuff and social media. Then he 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 thought it was a spam. Mm. Then he like, Dibala. Uh, he didn't click at the profile. I see. Then until that night, I saw like, eh, ni, eh betul. Asa is already read and yeah. no one told me about it. Like then. Oh, I thought it's a spam. Because no, it's not spam. This is like a real legit yeah. blue tick profile. Then that's where I I message him. Hey, uh, yeah, we are available. Like blah 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 and stuff like that. Then suddenly they call uh, in, 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 the shop. shop. Like hey, you guys have a booking uh, at uh, Fulton Hotel at this timing. Uh, my bubble was just blur. Like what? Who? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, who? Ah, ah, ah. Like Argentina. Like Argentina. Oh yes, 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 Eventually cannot uh, go up. They only limit to like three barbers uh, to enter. So some of them was uh, waiting downstairs, and mm. we try to switch and stuff like that. Oh, uh. So it was super super strict. There's no phone loud, and, oh, wow. and everything was uh, confiscated. Uh, like you mm. know, mm. like they hold on uh, our phones first. But yeah. I managed to steal my phone Is onto internet <laughs> socks. <laughs> like it's an opportunity, man. Yeah, it's like, true, a lifetime true, opportunity. True. Like I'm gonna, yeah. I gotta enter. Uh, 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 a hotel full of the Argentina Bonus, squad yeah. kan correct, like, correct. gila tak nak kasi handphone simpan <laughs> so I simpan my phone kat there I managed yeah. to get a few photos with them they but were, with them they are okay they they're super cool they're super yeah. cool only the management yeah, I think the organizer course, lah kan yeah, yeah. so so how was it then? it was it was nerve wracking I was uh, 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 sastrak lah Luckily, Messi wasn't there lagi. Yeah. Messi ada lagi. Confirm, <laughs> confirm the bubbles jatuh-jatuh jalan dia. Like, <laughs> <Shaking. do laughs> the the moment we enter the uh, the the hotel, eh, macam everyone was looking at us like, yeah. like, eh, shit lah. Like, it feels like, in, like, said, like, macam dalam mimpi lah, in the dream lah. Like, hmm. eh, eh, macam Di Maria. Eh, you know, like, yeah. you glance everyone eh, kat situ kan, while you walk through through them yeah. and they they show us okay this is a space uh, they have the, this mm. Argentina guy who organize uh, okay you can set up here blah 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 you know, and 90% doesn't speak English then it's really tough mm. so 
we managed to get a few guys, uh, even the, the the officials also lah, like the, the medic and stuff lah. Yep. Our uh, trainer, we also cut them. It was fun lah. It was it was epic. How, how do how do they tell you the haircut? They show they us or just show a picture. picture. Yeah. Ah, okay. It's the the, the the textbook way of uh, showing what you want for ah. for barber lah. <laughs> this. <laughs> This, 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 ah, now. Okay, okay, can, like, no, shorter, shorter. Oh. Ah, so it's like that, lah, how, how we communicate with them. It was, it actually, it's simple, lah, girl. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Showing, <coughs> like, bu- bubble, like, and, and, and client is, that's the most simple textbook way of uh, getting what you want, ah. Kalau classic, yeah, ah, then, yeah. kalau kena mama, so, like, you have, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, like, yeah. number five, you know, like, like, there's those pictures on the wall, uh, I want number six, oh, okay, you don't need to talk, and just give number six, <laughs> and after that, leave. <laughs> so, there was, there was a style where we, mm-hmm. what they want, and we try to, to give what they want, uh. they, they show us a picture. It was fun, it was crazy, like, actually. <laughs> so, that, like, do, do you guys, like, eh, hey, I want to cut the Di Maria hair, you see, 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 Di Maria, uh, I think was, uh, he wanted to cut, but actually, and now he didn't cut. He oh. just uh, hanging out, like, uh, it's okay, like, but he, he was hanging out, the rest is like, we have a few guys from, I think, Fadlin, 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 a few guys from mm-hmm. uh, West Ham United, uh, yeah, few, uh, yeah. then the guy from, uh, Inter Milan, yeah. uh, so forget the number number play sikit ah. Uh. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So did they give a like a shout out to you guys on on uh, social media? No, 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 they didn't. <laughs> it's also very. Nah, very yeah, yeah. I think it's a contract thing and uh, stuff. So yeah, yeah. Like the, yeah, the only shout out we have was the whole nationwide uh, media was going crazy and calling us yeah. up and can I have interview with you? Right. I, I, I think yeah. that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. enough, really, that's yeah. enough yeah. For, for if they're doing a shout out also, like, not much of customer will come. Like, yeah, because they are all from their, their, their countries. <laughs> overseas. Yeah. yeah. So after that, there's a lot of customer coming, like, hey, you guys, they will, they will like, want to talk about, like, oh, how, how, how do you feel? Like, how, how's the experience? Like, it's quite funny, like, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Okay, so, um, after you cut their hairs, and these are, like, really high profile individuals, right? Then, do you get nervous cutting, like when you, when you are done with that? Do you get nervous cutting like any other celebrities, local celebrities <laughs> after that? Yeah. Or you you are more confident after that? <laughs> like ah, I cut this cutting. Uh, it's it's like it's like performing on stage. Like mm. it's like every uh, every superstar, or every celebrity always have like nervous before on stage, yeah. like going up on stage. Once you're on stage, throws everything big free and you you just do your thing right then all the nerves hilang already mm. and it's the same goes to a, as a barber and studies especially when you try to cut like uh, a celebrity and the nerve is always the it's nerve wracking yeah. yeah but once you start the mood, and the mood you start cutting like damn just everything was hilang already and, mm. and, 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 and you just be yourself and give the best haircut you know that you're there because of uh, you're the best that they, they want you to cut your hair so you have to have the positive thinking all the time uh. but it's the same before cut is always nerving uh, always nervous but once you you cut your hair it's okay uh. yeah mm-hmm. oh, interesting. okay um i want to talk about on the business side mm-hmm. for you for the golden rule um what have you learned on the business side and um in terms of I don't know finance or how you set up this shop. That things that you don't know as a barber, because like you or not, you are an entrepreneur yourself. So for those who are, you know, who wants to start their own business and, uh, uh, in in regardless on any field, right? Like any any business um, knowledge that you uh, learned in these five years that you would like to share. <coughs> uh, opening up a shop actually is kind of like straightforward and easy actually you just set up a company register a company and get get a unit rent get a brand and start anything right but to me after these five years with my shop I think is the hardest part is sustaining mm. sustaining sustaining the interiors of the shop sustaining 
the service and turning the customer and you know the overheads are getting higher and the the the, the profit uh, or profit margin is is stagnant that's where you like you need to do something how you know so a lot of things that i learned from that sustaining is really 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 tough mm. uh, especially in singapore yes like uh, if something like you you can be the first you can yep. be the first to do and hype and everyone like yeah go crazy and queue madness just to get your haircut or uh, or get your products but it's a dog eat dog world uh, like someone will come out very soon and someone will will, will see a potential of uh that replicate industry. replicate uh, your yeah. your business uh, yeah. style or business plan and and do the same thing with a different brand so oh it's raining eh? yeah <laughs> okay so that's that's always the scary part of being an entrepreneur and opening up a shop mm. uh, right now i see a lot of uh, other barber shop where i think they they only last for two years then yes, they, yes. Then they close down. Then some of them even call me up and ask for advice. Like I can't get my barbers to stay with me. I can't get good barbers. Like how do you manage to run the shop and and sustain? So the toughest part is always sustaining. So I think the planning is it's not just about opening a shop and you know like one year you're planning like oh my dream okay dah settle down. Hmm. Wow my shop ah. <sighs> It's not that. It's okay. What are you gonna do after this next five years? Like, you have to plan ahead. Like, at least at least one year one year ahead of a uh, marketing plan for the next year. Yeah. Like, what you should do? Should you go out often? Should you go put your brand mm. everywhere? Should you go meet people? Or should you go socialize, network, and try to get more customer or try to get your product uh, seen? Mm. So it's a lot of planning for at least one two years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's really important for me. My advice is always plan ahead, and always have a backup plan if your shop is not doing well or your brand is not doing well. Mm. But bottom line is, if you're happy, if your work or you're happy with your brand or you're happy with your job, I think money will come. Ah, uh. yeah. uh, inshallah. Like if how I believe in. How congested the market is. Yeah. Uh, if rezeki is yours, yes. rezeki is yours. Yes. Yeah, I believe in that. Uh. So I I don't want to be pressured. Like uh, back then, like I think like around well, three years ago, my bubbles was like some of my bubbles lah uh, was pressuring me like macam eh got this bubble shop open now eh got my client go to him now like you know like mm-hmm. how how you know like mm-hmm. like for me like like chill like relax yeah. like. We just do our thing. We just do our. We don't. We 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 try. You can't help it, lah. Of course, lah. Like, right? oh, if you, if your customer is running away uh, and gets uh, their haircut somewhere else, you just can't help it to get affected. But you just need to focus on your craft and need to focus on yourself and your whoever are sitting on the chair and and still believe in here, still be loyal to you. So I think is is really. Normal for people to get affected where your business is uh, being uh, steal or you know like people try uh, stealing your customer that kind of term I don't like ah uh, right mm. I, I believe in Rizki kalau he might come back right he might come back if yeah, he had yeah. a bad haircut over there yeah like ah oh, I sorry I cheated on you uh, <laughs> I believe now I think you guys are the best I won't I won't go any other Just shop Just take me back now so. I still believe in Rizki. Ah, like if Rizki is us, how congested the market is. Yep. Just keep on doing your thing. Believe in yourself. Believe in the brand. I think it should be okay. And also love what you do. That yeah, love. Yeah, uh, you have to be happy, lah. You have to be wake up in the morning and excited. feel like excited to go to work. Like, oh, I'm gonna dress well today. What should I wear? Oh, I'm gonna meet my favorite client. Mm. It's gonna be funny. So you have to have. You know, looking forward to go to work uh, rather yeah. than because oh my job manager is so ah oh, shit and alamak uh, banyak kerja ini like I don't like how to uh, MC ah uh. you know that, that if you don't have that I think you don't bother about the money also don't bother just as long as sustain don't be too ambitious don't don't invest too much don't be too flashy like 
you know, you just get a five digit profit and suddenly uh, like gets a Rolex or you know, like kind of stuff, get supreme stuff and stupid stuff lah, kan? Like you just try to roll it back uh, to investment. I try to invest something uh, that's good. Like I mean, for me, like I try to invest on mainly marketing. Uh, let's get let's let's get a new another videographer. Let's get a, another photographer to do this shoot and stuff like that. And let's let's rent a let's rent a spot in in Orchard Road for one month mm. and see how it happens. Let's go to Italy, invest. No, that kind of thing. Let's go to UK. And 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 learn more from other barbers. Mm. So I like to invest it on the profit uh, rather yeah. than spend it on stupid stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's your? I'm curious. What's your background before? Like, do you, is it just in you that you you just want to be self-employed? Like, do you ever <laughs> had like this thinking, like you know, oh, I think I'm just yeah, get a, gonna get a I, okay, normal honestly, job. I've never, like I've never, I've never have good grades. I okay. never was a very good in academic. I'm always the art guy who brings guitar everywhere mm. and a big dreamer and always love weird stuff in school and always like to dress. Uh, my 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 friends uh, hair if they are performing on stage. Mm. So I like to play around with my hands, the, like creating stuff or so. So it's always the the creativity is always in me, uh. and uh, I can't work on the the typical system where nine to five job, get promoted, get bonus, looking forward for that. Like I've seen a lot of friends that uh, they have. I mean, it's it's not it's not. I'm I'm. I'm okay with that. But like, yeah. if they if they think that it's good for you, it's yeah. good for you. Yeah. It's good for you. If that makes you happy, mm-hmm. it's okay, lah. And it's it's how they wanted to to yeah. to yeah. to have their life, uh, their path, lah. Right? Mm-hmm. Looking forward, like bonus, like looking forward. Yeah, right? For me, I'm uh, I prefer on my daily things. Like, I I want to be happy with my life. I I I always can see myself. I'm capable of doing something amazing, yeah. right? That's why music was always very strongly, but uh, creating songwriting and stuff like that, uh, getting to award shows. So, uh, yeah, I cannot see myself <laughs> working on a daily normal <laughs> job. I but before that, I worked so many jobs oh, yeah. before. Yeah, I, I worked yeah. as a as a hospital cleaner. I mm. worked as a pest control. Uh, the worst job ever. <laughs> Uh yeah, I had like almost like the 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 worst job that I I can experience ah like it helps me to become a better person and understand and be down to earth like it's it's crazy lah like where am I now like having yeah. my own shop and 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 look look back like my mom always like always neck at me like like why are you doing like mm. why are you doing now like why 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 music why are you doing this why What art got to do with uh, uh, a good paycheck? But <coughs> I still, I just keep on going and believe myself that I think, I think if I'm happy with what I'm doing, yeah. inshallah, it's okay. Gonna tell you. What's your okay. advice on those uh, on those people who who has passion, uh, you know, on, on their creative side? But because of the pressure that they had from their parents, or you know, <laughs> to to get a stable job, be stable financially, yeah. uh, and when they but they when they look at you, they're like so inspired, and they you know like, they, they, is it too late for them? Like how how do you, yeah. <sighs> Being in a Muslim family is always like respect the elders, yeah. you know, like. Restu yeah. your parents like it's 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 actually tough where where the European side like like Americans like they don't they don't care what yeah, their parents right. what they want to say like I want to be gay I be gay I want right. to be like a, a cross dresser I can be a cross dresser <laughs> like mom who cares yeah. like, for us is very sensitive we always want to respect yeah. our parents their decision and if they okay with what we want to do so it's tough especially when the parents not don't agree and like mm-hmm. like myself mm-hmm. like, it's tough to 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 make them 
like look i know what i'm doing right like, trust me like right? it's, yeah. it's really tough especially if your parents are not uh, into no i mean not say not into arts like don't understand yeah, yeah they, they don't, don't understand, understand the context of yeah, yeah. yeah they don't understand like where can this lead to right so i think the best is uh prove them the only way is like to prove them like uh but make sure you know that they are, they know that what you're doing lah kan but it's just that just follow what they want but at the same time you do what you want so mm. so it, you need to juggle both lah but for me uh my academic wasn't that good so i just <laughs> just full total on the thing that i think need to prove to her yeah. like, okay so far like i managed to prove to her like okay barbering and hair can and arts can can make it mm. so my advice was my advice is to just keep on doing what you believe mm. and if you have a passion you no know, passion a dream a large yeah. drive to yeah. do and if you have financial problem try to find a way now we have in a with an amazing era where the social media is is, is powerful yeah social media can see talent like, you know like we can see good stuff like yeah. sometimes the ridiculous stuff also can go viral mm-hmm. because it's funny yeah and suddenly that person realize that hey yeah, i can be a comedian like yeah i'm funny actually yeah so there's a uh, you know you just need to do keep on doing yeah keep on doing but at the same time try to accommodate your parents like what they want okay yeah. you need to go to like, you know poly you know and stuff you still have to go that yeah. that path to make sure that they are happy and and you have backup plan unless you really sucks yeah like, you really, <laughs> I mean, I mean, you really 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 you didn't you don't realize that you how yeah. how, how bad you how are. bad you are <laughs> at least you have backup right yeah. sometimes like passion can also blind your correct you no know, like you feel like like almost like self indulgence like right? you mm. keep going oh, oh like Oh, I'm so good at this mm. songwriting, man. Yeah. Bagus ni lagu aku, right? But actually, the fact is like, no, man, <laughs> you can't sing, like, you know, your your song, nah. So you need to have the other backup. But because of your belief, like, I believe yeah. I can, I can, I believe like somebody out there will love my music or love my art or my painting or my fashion. Uh, but at the same time, you have to have both, lah. Make sure that your parents are. Uh, uh will support until they sh- you show them a, a proof that man like look at where i'm i'm doing now like mm-hmm. like see my music like until the mom um, until the parents were like hey oh, i didn't know that you play football mm. that well uh, you know i i have friends that yeah. parents doesn't allow them to play football at all like really like crazy that's yeah. like you know, like yeah Mara gila ni lah. Why are you playing football? Yeah, lah. no, study, no, study. Ma, school study. No, no, play football. Yeah, macam cerita water boy tu lah. Like, football is the worst for the devil. <laughs> so, actually, they they play really well. Like, yeah. until until long sampai into national and mm. and stuff like that. Then baru parents, wow, oh, my yeah. son in, 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 like playing for Singapore ah, yeah. national team ah. Yeah, then they start to then they start to believe. So it's tough ah, especially like as football. Like, you need to keep proving to them you need to yeah. keep proving and keep do until yeah. people people can see talent ah yeah people can see if you good or good and you, your friends your close friends mm-hmm. uh, will definitely give an advice if you not good or good so is your is your mom proud of you now yeah definitely <laughs> <laughs> how long does it take everyone in the chat hey you know that go dulu lah my son shock you know <laughs> <laughs> oh pada dulu <laughs> so What are the sacrifices and trade-offs uh, you've made to get to where you are right now? Uh, I think time with my my family. Hmm. When I started Guru Rule, I have no time. yeah I oh. sacrificed at least for almost one two years hmm. without. Uh, with the activities with my kid mm. and my wife because my wife was so uh, very supportive uh, towards she understand because she saw how i struggle she was always there for me mm. and yeah she 
she was always there when I have nothing at all, mm-hmm. and, and now I have something. Yeah, and and she saw that <coughs> I'm 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 giving my hundred percent to the shop, my heart and soul yep. to the to my firstborn of company, like you know my firstborn of a, a shop. Like it's very like wow, when like uh, my wife was like, just do your thing, just do your thing. Tapi pada masa dalam hati bila your holiday, bila your holiday. You know, girls are tricky. They are Jedi, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. They are, they are freaking Jedi. Like, you cannot like do poker face, mo. Like yes, sir, I support everything yeah. what you do. But then, keep on going. Can work. You can work. Go. <coughs> you coming back late? Go go. Tapi pada masa hati like, eh, nak lagi balik bila ni nak pergi holiday nak plan ni like that stuff. So I, the sacrifice is one of it is family time. Yeah. Uh, my kid was uh, that time was always like, hey, why why Aya is not around? You know why? Because I start at 10 a.m. and finish at 10 p.m. Mm. By the time balik, I reach home around 11. Everyone mm. sleep really. Tired. Yeah, everyone asleep and so yeah. For the past one year, macam gitu lah. Like I only have one day off. Once in a while, sometimes I still want to work, especially when I have at, when I started where there's no much bubble. Uh, yeah. Because if not, the the shop is closed and people who the hype is there already. Like, hey, there's another bubble shop here over here, and if the shop is not open, the customer might get another uh, get their haircut somewhere else and might won't yeah. come again. So I was always I need to be mm-hmm. there. Like, there's mm-hmm. someone call. Like, they they want to come this timing. That time appointment. Uh, that time appointment bill was <coughs> appointment bill was still on the phone. Yep. So the phone was always ringing and mm-hmm. always mm-hmm. cannot focus on my family time. It's always yeah. focusing on 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 getting more customer. So that's the most sacrifice that like, my kid. Now I have, yeah, I have ample of time <laughs> to have to bring them around and oh. and still not enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, still, I think uh, I still think that uh, my my family deserve because sometimes I envy see other families having their so much time. Yes, yes. Like we are in the service line. Kita orang like Saturday Sunday is Even, is a must to yeah, open a shop, right? right? And yeah. traveling and events usually weekends. I have to travel to Indonesia, travel to Malaysia, uh, like like. Uh, it's always on the weekend, so my wife still have a day job. So weekend is their off days. Eh, my kids at school and only off days on Saturday Sunday. Mm. So it's tough, ah. Still, still it's tough uh, because we are in a service line where <coughs> uh, weekends are is a no no. But uh, our shop always provide like if you wanna have uh, off day on weekends, by all means. Like mm. I don't want pressure. I don't want to have like. Uh, Like the days when they're in salon, no, you must work, yeah. right? You must work. Saturday, Sunday is a must. Yeah. But you no know, wedding. So orang melayu like weddings on right. Sunday, right. yeah. Right. Picnic on Saturday, right. and then birthday party, right? Like, all those kind of stuff. That I'm sure I'm under- I, I do understand. Yeah. yeah. So that's one of the sacrifices. Other than that. Yeah, I'm gonna not not gonna share with you guys lah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mm, what's your future plans uh, for your business or your personal goals? My future plans. Yeah, uh, I want the brand to be a global brand. I will, hmm. I would love to expand overseas instead of monopoly the shop mm, in mm. Singapore like. Try to open there, open there, open there, right. everywhere. Try to right. cover up everyone the area. So plan to franchise? Uh, I had a lot of approach. I mean, by businessmen to franchise mm. our brand, but I'm just paranoid. Ah, uh, really scared of that concept of mm. franchise of like because the quality control. It's not. It's not ingredient like okay. This is the ingredient. Gini 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 like yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Go yeah. the rubber girl. Go. Yeah. Is. When it's 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 hands on, it's a it's a it's a it's a it's bubble, it's a human thing where I make I need to make sure the the style of the bubble are on par with us, the the haircut quality is on par with us, the branding, the style. So it's a bit pressure for me. I, I prefer it to be my own and 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 find a partner rather mm. rather than just franchise pay me lump sum and I can have your name and do whatever you want. I see. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't prefer that. I prefer it to be in control of the whole direct uh, direction and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
So I'm I'm planning to open soon overseas. Okay. Hopefully soon uh, overseas. So that's my future plan. Mm-hmm. Uh, to go global, the brand to go global and to be one of the famous barber shop in Singapore to be recognized uh, overseas. Nice, nice. Yeah. Doable, doable. Yeah. Shall I pray for you that for that? <laughs> um, other than barber and music, yeah. right? Is there other things that you're passionate about that you have invested your time on? <laughs> or is just music, barber, family? Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Music, that's about it. Arts. I love movies as well. I love create like. Uh, gory stuff. I like uh, violent movies. I like uh, don't say violent lah. I I prefer it real. I like to be on a zone where like like good movies, like documentaries based on true story. Like I said, I like to be in their place, mm-hmm. in their in their planet of uh, or, or even even the fiction, uh, science fiction stuff. I like movies. Uh. That's mm. one of the one of the those stuff that I love to spend my time and get inspired. Of course, get more ideas. Like yeah. wow, you know, get after uh, yeah, thinking, yeah, like the flow keep on going. Uh, like another another source of uh, creativity. Uh, where I, I I watch good movies to get inspired. Good, uh, especially documentaries. Uh, mm. Or oh, every uh, fashion and stuff like that. Like even 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 in the movies, I see. I like to see the haircuts. Like what 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 what's what's the style of the haircuts? Uh, what kind of uh, trend right now? That kind of stuff. So one of it is, other than music, is uh, watching movies. Uh. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm. Okay. So, let's talk about your music background. Okay. Okay. Oh, what what do you play or? Oh. You are a producer only, or do you play instrument? Oh yeah, guitar, guitarist, right? Yeah, <coughs> I play the bass, the guitars, and programming. Uh, mainly, I was a producer mm. in Luncai Mas with Mnasi. Mm. Uh, okay. Uh, so I I I I, I produce uh, and arranger as well. So I play the guitar and bass mm. and, and very minimal drums. So that's about I see, it. Yeah. I see. So how's the that so you went to KL at that time for uh, back then for your music yeah. career mm-hmm. how how was it like in KL? It was tough, super tough, like even tougher as a bubble. Mm. Uh, music musician for me musician equal struggle. It's tough it, to be. It's it's super tough, like really. It's it's a it's like. You you all you all you want is to play music, yep. play like, no play play is like having fun like that's why people say let's play music, but <coughs> but financially in music is tough like you need to know it's not just good talent and good voice and good image and good songs it's about marketing it's about networking. It's very dirty business actually. It's very, mm. very, very tough. Like I, you have to, you have to know people. Lah. You have to know people. You have yeah. to go everywhere. You have to be seen everywhere. Mm. Uh, and sometimes you have to be plastic. Sometimes you have to fake it. You have to. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hi. Do you know? Do do do. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 part of it. So if you have it, you have it. Ah, not mm, everyone mm, have it. Mm. Correct, correct. Yeah, uh, like like if you a studio person. Then you need to keep on releasing a lot of stuff. Yes, yes. Uh, people see this production is amazing. Uh, so for me, is uh, is tough lah. I'm, I'm I I try my best to to. I still I still do small sm- small time producing and stuff. I still have a few songs on radio and, and, and get nominated for underground planet music. And still doing for some other artists and mm. friends, but it's super tough lah. Yeah, I I salute to people who still. Still, uh, still doing it mm, mm. for a career. Yeah, yeah. Especially, what, what, especially in Singapore, ah. I mean, uh, especially it's such as niche yeah. market, small. Is it because w- Singapore is in such a small uh, country that a lot of people travel to Malaysia and get you have to get to. their yeah. yeah you have to you have to travel. 
like just look at in uh, for the Mandarin uh, market, they have to go China. Uh, even though they they are doing well in Singapore in music, but they still have to go Hong Kong and China. The Chinese market is way bigger. Correct. Right, right. like we only have like one radio station for Malay or oh, two radio station. Yeah. One is the Warna, one is the Ria. Yeah. Where Warna only play the classics yeah. and Ria might play some new yeah. stuff. So that's it. Right, we have only one one newspaper. Everything is one. Like if you go to Malaysia, based on my experience, we have like seventy station, eighty station, hundreds of magazines, hundreds of articles and stuff like that. And reporters, they have an industry, a real industry. Yeah. So for us, is it's stuff lah. It's for Singaporean. Uh, we have to be like we are iron fist uh, to to go towards that mm, uh, mm. that path. Uh, it's not easy, uh, but I've seen a lot of people make it also. Also, yeah, yeah because of their yeah, the drive, their drive, their yeah, patient, and 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 humble, mm. and know how to how to interact with people. You have to be a people, people. Correct, uh, correct, yeah, correct. Yeah, like, that, that's something tough to to stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, like people see like Nirvana, or like yeah. you know, they see like a rock star, like yeah, I mean, I, yeah like. Tapi real fact lah, you know, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. macam mana dia punk lah, how punk correct, you are, correct. how grunge you are, or how metal head you are. If you want to go uh, business, uh, music business, you need to do all those stuff. Yeah, you need to be a nice guy. You need to be, yeah, yeah you need to meet people every time, and and find a way. But now, now is the era where everyone can make music correct, on yeah. your phone. So. Right, it's even harder. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's even harder. Like everyone can be a producer. The entry of 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 it is very easy. Uh. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. it's tough because they all can produce anytime. They have they have ready beats now to download free royalties and just sing along with it. So as a producer right. producer who create beats, who create yeah. song structure, it's tough for us. Yeah. So luckily, kind of Bobby was there. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> luckily, Bobby was there for me. Yeah, that's right. It's a good choice that you swap that. Yeah, but I still do music, eh? I still, I still do music. Yeah. So what kind of genre are you uh, uh, into? For music business, is pop, pop rock. Okay. But uh, Malay, mostly Malay, or do you? Have mostly English? Malay. I have a few English also. All right, right. Uh, I'm always a fan of metal, metal, uh, heavy music. And I listen to a lot of stuff, a lot of good stuff. Like I know when to to listen when I'm in the mood. Mm. Like uh, in the morning, sometimes I don't listen to metal. Ah, okay? in the morning I listen to soul and uh, 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 like lo-fi music, lo-fi beats. Uh, at a certain timing, if I'm angry, if I'm aging. Like into the age of into metal, into the heaviness, <laughs> into the yeah. Right, then I listen to heavy yeah. stuff. If I'm into the old school music, like old school rock, uh, Led Zeppelin, uh, Metallica, you know. and even to oldies, I listen to a lot of stuff, lah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but anything that is badass, I I I suka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, let's talk about you personally now. Um, is there any area in your life that you want to improve on? Anything in general I that you're weak at and you want to improve on? I think by focusing on focusing on the one and only. Uh, mm, mm. I I think I need I still need to progress on achieve more. Goals towards akhirat. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm lack of that. Yeah, I, I you know like try to balance things up, but I would love to try have to have that drive to focus on that world also, mm-hmm. other than what I'm having right now. I'm, I'm enjoying doing the creative stuff, but I need to focus on that also. What, yeah. what makes you want to focus on that? Because age or is it like definitely, definitely when you aging, you start to think about dying. Yeah, it's automatically like you think about getting old. Uh, if you sick and stuff, then like I'm get like now I'm thirty six, so like I'm not getting younger, and and I have to look back like 
is it enough? <laughs> is it enough for me to enter? Mm. You know, to, to cover all the yeah, all the yeah to cover. <laughs> is it enough? <laughs> so it just always yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. like haunting me ah. Uh, at the same time, I try to balance everything lah. Yeah, and 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 stay grounded and try to like everything is given by him also. Yeah, so I need to thank to to what he have he give uh, like what he have gave to my family mm-hmm. and my my friends uh, giving a opportunity to do this and enjoying it. Uh, because some people still having depression. Because lately right. I see a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of ugly, ugly depression where they having problems with their life and 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 choose to, you know, choose. Because because I I have to agree with you and also like like you like wherever you are right now and you people can say that you've made it you are successful right and with success it comes also a lot of temptation and a lot of uh, what we call that uh, trials and like you say they say cobaan you know yeah. yeah so it's not easy to to you know what we dream of success but when we are successful it's it's tough so how how do you uh, handle success oh <sighs> uh Stay grounded, stay humble, stay. You know, because a lot uh, there are so many out there who you know. For me, so the only thing that keeps me focusing on that is is the reason why I why I quit the tattoo parlor barber shop mm. and trying to to get away from that environment. Mm. And that's the reason. That's one of the reason why I want to open my own shop, right? Like don't want to have associate with all those stuff, and so I always like to remind myself like why I think that I think because of that he he gave me this yeah yeah I think yeah uh, I don't know it's like he's the he's the greatest planner right yeah that's correct so I think that's the reason why I always if I'm like oh, I want to spend this much like so I'm like relax chill like mm-hmm. like the bazir you know like you know yeah, like, yeah. I don't want to like spend too much like try to donate do charities and try to go do as much good deeds to other people as well and help yeah. other people yeah, yeah. so I like to focus on on why the reason I started Correct. my own shop in the first place huh? yeah. Yeah. so it's that's the reason uh. there's always my backup if I have uh, temptation to you know Mm. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's talk about your pillar of strength, your wife. Uh, how much she means to you, and how much has she, uh, you know, contributed to where you are right now today. Oh, shout out to my wife. I love you so much. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> But honestly, she's is one of the reasons why I'm here, and. Where am I now? Uh, she always, I think it was ninety nine point ninety nine. Ninety nine point ninety nine percent of my success is from her support, from 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 her, from pushing me and 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 guide me. I mean, she's a very smart person. Mm. She's a very intellectual person, and and. She's the best, lah. She's the best. Where, where I think if I if I'm lost, she's always the one who like guide me and and motivate me and believe in me. Even when I was still doing music with crappy paychecks, mm. uh, she's still okay with it. But actually, you know, okay and stay calm at all time and not being a you know crazy woman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like. <laughs> like how the bill all cover? Yeah. Like she always like chill. Like okay, you need to get a better job. I think <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah, she's she's the reason why I'm here, lah. My backbone, lah. Mm-hmm. Shout out to my wife Gina, if you're listening <laughs> <laughs> to Khalid Podcast. <laughs> nice. Uh, is she still working? Yeah, she's doing part time now. Right now, mm-hmm. she currently do part time because the the she wanted to do full time for us. 
Oh. Yeah, like doing all the managing the finance and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. And, but the boss doesn't allow her to quit. Really? Uh, yeah, the boss gave her a, a better offer where you just come three days for work and, mm. and we still pay you the same and stuff. And just keep helping out on the finance for mm. the uh, oil and gas company. Yeah. She's and doing accounts. She's doing accounts, yeah. yeah. And, and the environment is good. Mm. I, I just told her that do you like the job? You like the place, you like the environment, you like your boss. So it's up to you. Yeah. Unless you're not right. happy with your environment, you're not you're, you're dragging yourself, you enjoy. It's up to you if you enjoy. And she said, Yeah, I still enjoy and stuff like that. I think I, I, I still can juggle doing a, a housewife. I don't do it. I mean being a being a wife, being a mother of two kids. Mm-hmm. Uh, helping out with TJR accounts and still doing the the day job, mm. and she's an um, amazing strong person. Uh. Yeah, I also don't have that kind of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we men don't have that. Kind. <laughs> 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 don't have that. Again, orang also orang jedai, bro. Yeah. That's why I told you orang jedai. <laughs> um, who's your role model? My role model. Life and why? Just one. You can, you can name a few. Uh, mom and dad. Mm. My wife. Yeah, that's all. Any public figure? Nah, no public figure. Just public figure is just to uh, inspire me. Uh, mm-hmm. But as a role model, I think mom, dad, uh, my wife, and of course. Our Rasulullah and Salam. Yeah. I think that's the only source of uh, idola, mm-hmm. like you know, mm. idol, idol worship. Like she's the best, right? Like, yeah. like, it's the only way that uh, like different level, lah. Different, yeah. level, yeah. <laughs> different <laughs> level already, lah. <laughs> but you're talking the about best of mankind. Yeah, the best, the best of mankind. Of mankind. <laughs> yeah, you're talking about role model. Yeah. yeah. There's no one better than him. There's no one better Plus, than him. Uh, you say you get inspired by only all the public figures, right? Okay, then mm-hmm. with that, so who inspires you? Uh, I like to control my news feed. Like, mm. uh, I, I, I really, I really, uh, specifically, specifically choose certain people to follow. Because news feed, I have said, like, not, yeah. I don't have much time to, you know, yes, flick, yes, flick, yes, flick, yes. flick, 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 like, I don't want to, like, nonsense and flood my news feed and flood my IG story. So I, I like to choose where I want my uh, free time to be. Mm-hmm. So I make sure that I have, I follow the right people. Mm-hmm. So like, which I special, example, like Gary V. Mm-hmm. Gary V is one of those. Okay, he's vulgar, eh? he's vulgar, yeah, right. son of Ghana. But he's one of those, yang macam, when you flick your iPhone, you when you free time, like, so the clue are like, go do it. No, what are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. no, you just motivate you. Okay, okay, I go, I go. <laughs> like, let's do it. Like, you know, that kind yeah, of stuff. Slap the ah, like, yeah. slap your face. What are you doing? Like, yeah. like you have you have twenty four hours in the day or like twelve hours in the day. Like, what are you doing? Your six hours. Like, that kind of fit on your yeah. or your iPhone, which I'm. Okay, okay. Why I'm are you going dumb shit. Yeah, yeah, no, they can't stay. Like, stop being dumb, buying dumb shit. Okay, okay, I'm not buying dumb shit. So I'm gonna sell this uh, supreme uh, stuff. Like, uh, he's one of those, uh, mm. my role model. Right, right. Uh, currently, uh, other than that, uh, a lot of other uh, international barbers who are doing extremely mm. well in the States. Like, example, like Julius Caesars, like, uh, a few more. A lot of barbers right now. Uh, that's a role model. Uh, mm-hmm. That inspired me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, music, I think, uh, for music, uh, I just like to see new stuff, uh, like new, fresh, like that, 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 that gives me like, Uy, something mm. killer, benda ni, like, never listen. Like, now, right now, it's like to, almost 2020, really. Yeah. Everything is recycled. Correct. Everything right. is almost happened. You have the, the riffs or the beats that I've heard and you have listened to it. So I like to listen to something that new and, and on Spotify I always like to click on discover. Like, mm. I like to go to that, like especially when my if I'm driving, uh, then I like to put on discover if I want to listen to new stuff. Mm. Most of the time, when I, I when I discover new stuff, that's where I like, oh this band cool, uh, and then I like to check out check out their album. 
and get inspired on the on the texture of the sound and all stuff. Yeah. Nice, nice. What's the best advice you ever received? Best advice from a person. <laughs> yes. I know what I'm saying. Best advice. Hmm. Let me think. Three my parents, uh. my mom and dad. Like. How many siblings do you have? I have three. You are uh, the youngest. Youngest. Uh, uh, my parents, my 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 dad lah. Uh, always like, always like to remind me like, stay grounded, uh, be humble, be nice to people, uh, jangan riak. You know like, don't be. Arrogant. Be arrogant to towards uh, someone who are trying. I mean, someone is struggling. You know, you never know if they are having hard time. And yeah, that's the most uh, inspiring stuff, lah. Mm, my, mm. my dad always. Sometimes, like, sometimes I'm like, tahu lah. You know, like yeah, one tahu lah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, like typical Malay kid. Yeah. Like, but when you when you adult adult. You listen differently. Yeah. You 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 accept it in a different way. Like you accept like oh yeah, dad is trying to remind me like you know yeah. like, like where you are now and not to not to you know not to, don't 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 be too too arrogant towards mm-hmm. anyone. Yeah. I like I like to be stay grounded at all times. Inshallah, hopefully lah. Some people we can judge you like. Yeah. Yeah, if you're not smiling, uh, if you're smiling, also people judge. If you're not smiling, also <laughs> you cannot please everyone. <laughs> but, uh, but, I mean, he knows. He knows that if I'm grounded, if I'm not arrogant, if I'm in class or sincere towards my grounded. Mm. So my dad, props to dad. Thank you for keep reminding me all times. <laughs> Amazing. Um, what's the definition of success? Wow. Well, Happy. Hmm. Don't steal from Gary V. No. Is it? Oh yeah. Uh-huh. It's all this happiness, happiness, yeah, happiness. But, but, but I mean, happy and and stable. I mean, you don't need to have like like big house, big cars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, I I've seen this mi- minimal uh, minimalism. Uh, minimal, minimalist. Minimalist, uh, they, they 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 call themselves minimalism, right? Mm, 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 yeah. Like, it's on Netflix, I think. Right? The, yeah, the two saw. brothers, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, wow, if if someone who are like, non-Muslim person can can live that way, yeah. I mean, we are been taught to be, <laughs> you know, yeah. Don't be like, Don't Correct. don't spend too much. Like everything is. Like minimal, like if sederhana. So why not? It's a good example as a as a as a person. Mm-hmm. So I think is happy so I try to, and stable. I try stable. to adopt to that to that minimalist lifestyle. A bit, definitely a bit. Like, uh, like I can buy I can buy a like five thousand dollars guitars and like oh my guitars mm-hmm. dump you five thousand. But like, should I? Mm. Should I buy it or should I just get a 200 guitar, 200 dollars guitar, and from Carousel, and still create music? Mm-hmm. So it's like as long as you're happy and stable, it's okay. Yeah. Happy and stable. Yeah, happy and stable. Then okay, you are enough. successful. Yeah, then you'll be successful. Nice, nice. More of it will come later on if you keep doing. What makes you happy? Yeah. Cause point. <laughs> On point. <laughs> Too much of Gary V. <laughs> <laughs> the guy is everywhere. That's why. Yeah. I've been brainwashed by him. But at least he he preaches good good things. Yeah. To us, now. Yeah. Currently. Yeah. Lesser vulgarities. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So I always I always ask this to every one of my uh, guests, and uh, which is uh. What's the definition of a great leader? Oh, yeah. great leader. Since you have, you've been <coughs> like you said, you've been, you know, uh, you learn leadership from your group band mm-hmm. members last time, and now you are a leader of nine full-time, you know, 
barbers yeah so what's the definition of a great way mm. <coughs> a great way is always uh, has to be a role model uh, always need to set a good example uh, you need to show them like you're not you, you, like don't be a bossy or a boss uh, rather than be a leader a leader where your your guys will get inspired seeing your seeing the leader doing the same things you're doing and and encourage them so that's the definition of a, a good leader you don't you just don't say stuff but you don't do stuff is is different where you show them you do the stuff that that you ask them to do mm. uh, i think that's that's the best uh. that's where that's where you, your guys or your followers or your friends or your workers will definitely have huge huge respect towards yeah. a, a boss like that uh. and then just asking you to do this and do that and right. yeah let's go to like a good leader will go onto a battlefield with you mm. yeah that's a that's a that's a proper definition of a good leader yeah nice nice <laughs> you should watch the king <laughs> on netflix <laughs> again why from that <laughs> movie <laughs> okay um we come to the end of the podcast uh do you have any last parting words that you want to say <coughs> Last what? Last parting words. Uh, I just like to say to everyone. I mean, especially. Uh, I think this is more like a, for uh, entrepreneurs and stuff, futures and people who are get inspired to do their thing, right? Yeah, right. Uh, future, future leaders and. Yeah. Uh, I think the only thing you need to be true to yourself and and focus on on your craft first mm. and and keep on doing it keep on practicing and don't be too greedy or ambitious to to go too big start small mm. slowly you will be if if you good definitely will be uh, uh it will be you will grow to be a bigger scale mm-hmm. so you can start small mm-hmm. no need to be like no need to no need to care about other people like saying like hey like, you doing this thing like you know, small small thing like uh, your your shows in like small small venue like don't care about them just yeah. do because you know your capital you don't don't get loans and stuff like that yes. just because you want to show people that your you're building a a a, a brand where look so expensive you can start small that's my best advice lah mm-hmm. yeah. mm-hmm. for my experience lah yeah small start small shop and slowly grow yeah so that's you said this if you're good so if you suck If you suck, go back to your <laughs> go back to school. And no, seriously, seriously. If you want to try, five yeah. years, ten years, nothing, fail. So if you suck, what should you do? Go to sign with government sector. <laughs> <laughs> It's the best way to survive. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you have to have a few options, lah. Uh, you have to have a few options. Definitely, you have to have a few options. You cannot. You cannot limit yourself, like oh, like I for me, I have like two options. Like I started hair when I was like 17 years old, mm. and I also doing music at uh, 17 years old, 16 mm. years old. So I already plan ahead. Now, like okay, if my music sucks, <laughs> I will have my uh, backup plan where I'm gonna be retired as a bubble or uh, mm. a men's hairdresser. Mm. So at that. Point before I go NS, I already have that vision of like I think Bowring can have a decent living. Yeah. Like, uh, uh, men's hairdressing can have a decent living if I'm my music. If I'm not a rock star, mm. I'm not doing a big time producer. <coughs> uh, definitely, I I've seen a lot of uh, uh, uncle barber is doing well. Yeah, like yeah. Uh, still fit uh, their family. Yes. Uh, their, uh, their children still go to school. Just doing Bowring. Yeah. So always have a backup. Uh, at least a, 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 f- a few options open mm. for you. Rather yeah. than just you can believe in yourself, but options <laughs> is important. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Uh, for having uh, us interviewing you in this oh, podcast. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, 
May Allah reward you and bless your works and everything. And inshallah, we we will keep in touch and do whatever in the future. Inshallah. inshallah. Thank you so much. Thanks, man. Thank you so much. Thanks, man. <laughs>